Hey there, welcome back. This is the video tutorial for Downhearted Blues by Alberta Hunter and Lovey Austin. It makes use of the 12 bar blues pattern that we've been using. Um, but unlike the sort of original no frills kind of basic version that we learned in our previous song, this one we're gonna add a couple little tricks to that's gonna, I think, really fill out the blues a little bit for us. And the changes are gonna come right away in that first line. Now traditionally, as I said before, uh, or in, the, in our previous song, we've got just four bars of the C chord for this first blues. We're gonna change it. We're gonna have one bar of C, then one bar of F, one bar back to C, then we're gonna go to one bar of C7. And to make that C7 chord, you may have noticed I went from my C chord, right, is the ring finger on the third fret of the A string, then I'm gonna take my pointer finger, put it on the first fret of the A string, take my ring finger off, and that's what brings out that really cool note there that makes it the C7 chord. So I'm still in that A string, remember that's the one that's closest to the floor. C chord to C7, go to the first fret of that A string with your pointer finger. All right, and then from there it continues much the way that, um, that we know before, right? Second line, we're on F, two, three, four, for two bars. And then we're back to C. Now here, instead of doing a full two bars of C, you can also sneak in that C7 for a bar. Then the third line is exactly the same as before. G7 for one bar, F for one bar, C for one bar, and then the turnaround. We'll go from C to G7, start it all again. C for one, top of the 12 bar blues pattern. So you might want to take a little bit of time just to play through it on your own uh, before we really dive into the song. Um, if you're ready though, I'm going to uh, just take a short break here and then we're going to play through the whole thing from top to finish. Remember, these blues songs, it's the same pattern over and over and over and over again. So whether you want to follow along with your music or if you want to try to just work on your knowledge of that pattern and hearing where those changes come without the music, you're welcome to do it. But here we go, we're going to play through it. All right, from the top of Downhearted Blues, there's a little intro that I've borrowed from an arrangement that I found um, that is at the top of your chord chart, so feel free to follow along with that. However, when we start with verse one, we're gonna dive right into that 12 bar blues pattern. So if you are using this video to practice without music, you can also wait for that point to jump in on the C chord. Here we go from the top. One, two, ready, and C to F. And then we're gonna do a little turnaround. strum G7. My man mistreated me. Here's the beginning. He drove me from his door. That C7 there. Second line. Lord, he mistreated me. And he drove me from his door. 
the downhearted blues. That's quite some downhearted material, and yet somehow it's still so much fun to sing. Go figure. I think that's kind of why they wrote it in the blues. So you could take what was feeling pretty terrible about your life and at least feel a little better through the processing and the expression of it. So as always, you can use this video as many times as you need for whatever purpose, whatever goals you're working on in your musical journey. Um, but feel free also to put the video aside for a couple days. See if you can really hear and feel the rhythm and the melody of this, uh, of this song inside you and play it on your own because that's how you'll know you really know the song. Um, but either way, really, I hope you enjoy your practice and I look forward to uh, seeing you for the next song. Thanks so much.